Welcome to two examples of determining odds using probability. The odds in favor of event A is equal to the probability of A divided by the probability of not A. And the odds against A is equal to the probability of not A divided by the probability of A. So for our first example, we want to find the odds in favor of rolling a one using a standard die pictured here where the possible outcomes are one, two, three, four, five, or six. So the odds in favor of rolling a one would be equal to the probability of rolling a one divided by the probability of not rolling a one. Well again, there are six possible outcomes, but to roll a one, there's only one favorable way, and therefore the probability of rolling a one would be one six, so the probability of the complement, or the probability of not rolling a one, is equal to one minus one six, or five six. And we want to simplify. Notice how both fractions have a denominator of six, so we'll go ahead and multiply the numerator by six, and the denominator by six, or if we want, six over one. Notice how in this form, the sixes simplify out, so the odds in favor of rolling a one is equal to one to five, which can be left as a fraction, but odds are often also written as one to five using a colon, so it doesn't get confused with probability, or even one to five. So notice how the odds is a ratio of the favorable ways to unfavorable ways of rolling a one. And now for the second example, we want to find the odds against rolling a five or six, which means the odds would be equal to the probability of not rolling a five or not rolling a six divided by the probability of rolling a five or six. So for this one, let's go ahead and start with the probability of rolling a five or six. Well, there's a five and there's a six, so the probability of rolling a five or six would be two sixths. Therefore, the probability of not rolling a five or not rolling a six would be one minus two six, or as we can see, four six. Let's go ahead and clear the fractions by again multiplying the top and bottom by six, or again if we want six over one. The sixes simplify out, so the odds would be four to two, but we can simplify odds just like fractions as long as we leave them as ratios, meaning there's a common factor of two, so this would be two to one. You would not want to write this as two because it must be a ratio. So if we pause for a moment and look at the ratio of four to two, this is really a ratio of the number of ways of not rolling a five or not rolling a six. There are four ways, one, two, three, or four, to the number of ways of rolling a five or six. There are two ways to do that. And we can also write this as two colon one or just two, two, one. Okay, that's gonna do it for these two examples. I hope you found this helpful.